we're in Malta and we're going to do an icon. This icon is identifiable because number one, it has Greek text. I think it's Greek and you can say it's a Greek icon, which is an Eastern Orthodox icon, which is right. But the other thing about it is it's an identifiable character. So you have a, you have a winged person or winged angel with the halo and there are known archangels, Raphael, Gabriel, Michael, there's more, I can't remember them, there's a lot of other archangels. But the thing about this archangel, it's got armour, he's got armour, it's not a woman, they're, they're men. And um, he's a, he's a, he is a warrior archangel, so we know it's St Michael, I think it's St Michael. It could be another warrior um, archangel, which I don't know the name of, but I think it's going to be St Michael. And um, the distinction between the warrior ones and the other non-armour ones is the other archangels were benevolent archangels and, and, the, and the warrior um, archangels were, were guardians, armed guardians, and, and the, the archangels were Hebrew characters who were adopted by the Christians and venerated. So what you've got here is an, an icon of an archangel with a scroll and a sword, or not a sword, sorry, a, a flame, standing over a man lying on his back, a woman in mourning, mourning as well. So I don't really know what it, what it is. I'd rather, I'd rather not pretend I know. I don't know what it means or that. There's a, quite an elaborate background. You have a shelf of jugs, glass or pewter or pottery jugs. There is stonework, there is a door, there is another staff of some sort. There is a floor, there is a, a grail, a cup, a beaker, there is a pillow, there is text, a foot, armour, feet, um, a tunic. It's an elaborate painting and it's evidently old painting. Uh, the back has got a recent or fa fairly recent coat of paint on it, but I, I think there is age to the back. It's very hard to date icons and to date an icon properly you need to be a scholar or a, an expert or, a, 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 or someone from a museum. So I'll now try and date this icon. Um, I think this icon is going to be earlier than 20th century. I think it's going to be 1860. It, it is, I'm looking at the, the fact the board hasn't changed much shape. There's not a lot of wear or damage to it. There's no worm, there's no rot. It's not been banged around and re repaired. I don't think it's 20th century. I, th I think the manner of painting and the condition of the painting means it's going to be antique, antique, not near antique. I, I think it could possibly be as early as 1800, maybe a little bit early, poss very, very possibly. There, there is a definitely medieval flavour with her arched back, with the man, with the, with the archangel, but of course these icons were painting copies of medieval art, so you can't just rely on how it looks. I think they're very, very interesting things. I, I think that they, they're getting harder and harder to get. What you've got to not buy, not collect, are the 20th century ones, which are floorboard, the, the floorboard ones, which the tourists were being, were being sold for tourists. I mean, they're lovely things and they're, they're, they're artworks and they're attractive and, and they are, they are spiritually interesting things. But when, you, when, you, when you're buying icons, you've got to buy proper icon and it, you, you don't really want to be buying a 20th century icon because they were mass produced and are still being made now. And even a brand new one, it's very hard to tell how old they are. So we have this Archangel icon, this beautiful painted item. It has got traces of real gold on the edge, um, on the halo. Um, I think that this one in particular, there's not a lot of the, not a lot of winged characters, not a lot, there's not a lot of the archangels on the, on these icons. So I think it's quite an unusual one. This will be selling in Malta for 1200 euros. Thank you.